Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. And we all have to go to a staff meeting. Today is all about pranks. April Fools on the Teachers Off Duty podcast. Welcome to the Teachers Off Duty podcast. Today, we're all talking about April Fools and pranks that we pulled on our kids, they pulled on us. And we are joined again by our amazing guest, Ms. Megan Mayer, or the crazy creative teacher. Hello, hello. Do you have an introduction for me? Can you call me amazing, Lauren? You're just Gabe. <laughs> this is Gabe. I'm um, just kidding. We love you, Gabe. April Fools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just no, kidding. And speaking of pranks, we actually kind of, you kind of pulled a prank on Gabe last night at the Airbnb. So like we got in really, really late and then Gabe's flight was delayed even more. So he got in later than everybody else. So Tal and I had already chosen which rooms we were going to stay in. And the Airbnb has like four bedrooms. There's only three of us. So Tal basically closed all of the doors in the Airbnb. You got to make it simple for Gabe, and, you know. <laughs> and like, Gabe like would basically have to play musical doors to figure yeah, out which it was, room was uh, it. It was pretty embarrassing and awkward because I walked into the Airbnb at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my lovely host made it so I would have to guess which room I was no. going to be in and <laughs> play like music. It was a game show. It was like a game show, uh-huh. but I was already crabby and angry <laughs> and, and Tell decided, yeah, this is going to be a good idea. I didn't know. So what I did, because <laughs> this was tell, this was tell logic at 3 a.m. And, and I woke up at 7.30, woke up at 7.45. Like, we got like three, four hours of sleep. Yeah, we're going to um, be pretty right loopy. And right now it is um, five o'clock. <laughs> So I, what I did was I the, the lights were on, and so I went and I turned off all the lights very loudly on accident. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like I was slamming doors shut, and I kept the light to his room open, or like the door open, the light on, so he knew everything else was dark. And somehow he didn't realize there was like snacks on the bed, and then I had gotten us all um, robes. I asked everyone <laughs> what their favorite color was, and we, we'd gotten robes. So when we're doing we hair had, and we makeup. We had two really strange texts from Tell this week. <laughs> he, he asked us, what is, what's our favorite color? And then what is our middle initial? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is he trying I to do I didn't even here? want to, to know the name, just the initial. Then he asked for my mother's main, main name main, and, and then my social security <laughs> number. Yeah. I'm like, this is really weird. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that What street did you grow up on? You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> Name but, your first cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he has no money <laughs> but <laughs> i thought that'd be an obvious thing and then he, this morning we were talking to me he's like yeah i didn't know if this was my room because there was food on the bed and there was a green shawl on there and i was like <laughs> it's a robe he's <laughs> like yeah this shawl food culture. Like, do you know what a shawl is <laughs> i was so confused when i walked in like oh there's a shawl here and candy i'm in the wrong room and i was so tired i'm like well so be it yeah. lock in the door <laughs> the there's killers it. in here there's killers <laughs> So you unintentionally played a prank. It was a very, yes. un- it, I thought it was, be, it was, like, it was a con- it was a sweet prank, you yeah. know? Have Sometimes you guys ever sweet. played an April Fool's Day prank on your students? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What, what have you done? I um, took a page out of uh, Joe D's book yes. and did the spelling ah, bee thing. Mm-hmm. So I, like, we don't do spelling tests in, in the fifth grade. Um, I know some of you out there are going to be like, what? But like, yeah, it's not like spelling is not taught in isolation anymore very much. So I was like, all right, guys, so it's 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 April. It's almost the end of the school year. So we need to see how well your spelling abilities have have um, improved over the year. <laughs> so we have to do an impromptu spelling test. So it's OK if you don't know all the words, but I want you to try your very best. And I gave him like ridiculous words like Flugenhofer or like just something <laughs> stupid. And then I put it in a sentence and I was like, I had to grab my Flugenhofer to go to the bus. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, what the heck? And they like literally were shouting at me like, you cannot be serious. Like, I'm going to fail this. Sorry. I did the same thing with, with my kids um, when I was teaching sixth grade and it was awesome. It was hilarious. <laughs> it, it's funny every time. And shout out to Joe D for, for inventing this trick. Yeah, it is so funny. No matter what age group you have, give it a shot because it's so funny. One of my like first years teaching before TikTok, um, I wanted to get creative and do like, you know, it's back when I had endless energy. <laughs> and uh, Didn't so, we all? you know how you have your, your act? 
active screen and the kids can see your screen. Yeah. I'm like forever would be forgetting to like freeze it and showing things you're not supposed to. So I'd come up with this whole plan. I made like a like a fake folder. Yeah. Um, and in the folder were lots of other folders, and they were titled things like um, "Teachers Who Are Secretly Vampires," <laughs> <laughs> um, "How to Rob a Bank," <laughs> "Oh My God," "Teachers That's Who awesome. Would Rob a Bank with Me," um, <laughs> "Students Who Are My Favorite," "Students Who Smell Bad," like just and that I labeled so it funny. "Top Secret," right? I so love that. funny. So going along with my lesson, and I act like I've accidentally showed this file. And they're all freaking out. They're like, wait, click that one, click that one. And That's my so screen funny. was not a touch screen at that point, so they couldn't yeah. touch it. And I was like, oh, April Fools. And they didn't believe me. <laughs> they thought that these were like real files on my computer. That's so funny. The best part about this is I think my mom thinks I'm like always getting fired. <laughs> so I had posted like a picture of the files on my Facebook and because I had a bunch of teacher friends yeah. and I shared it and was like, oh, I did the best April Fools prank. And she saw the one about robbing the bank and she calls me and she's like, Megan, you're going to get fired. Like, you can't joke about robbing <laughs> banks. And I'm like, if I got fired for like everything I joked about, like I would have got fired a long time ago. Right. <laughs> I would not be employed. <laughs> and the kids, they talked about it for weeks. They're like, just tell me, like, what, so who, funny. who are vampires? Like who are the ones that are vampires? It's like, it backfired because yeah. they were like, <laughs> they were like, no, you yes. you just got caught. Now you're trying yes. to play it. Off. It was like at least twenty files. I must have spent like a good hour. It's the problem when like, <laughs> like I'm writing that in my book because I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> You've got to do it like. I feel like on April Fools, but even then, they're not going to believe you because yes. then you could just sit there and be like, "No, it's April Fools." I promise. Yes. I was doing a lesson plan. You know, the anyone ever did like the leprechaun comes in and like mess yeah. up the classroom kind of thing. So we had done that, and I was like, "Okay, we were doing a dinosaur unit," and one of my colleagues had this giant dinosaur puppet. I think it was like a T Rex or something, but it was it was huge. And so I was like, "Okay, this is what we're going to do for the dinosaur unit. I'm going to go through and I'm going to like use ink pads and like I've made little, you know." stamps i went around the room so it looked like there was a dinosaur and so we're just trying to figure out where the dinosaur is and there was clues and everything was like lasted a week long and they hadn't seen this puppet yet and i didn't think it was scary <laughs> so it was in the closet and i walked walk up to the closet and i jiggled it but it's not like, I was like oh, i think i found him and i opened it up and it's like dangling there and it's like screams and i felt so bad i thought they'd get excited <laughs> and they were petrified i'm like Okay, this was the worst prank I've ever oh, done. Oh, no. And I'm like trying to calm them. I'm like, no, no, it's a nice one. We can pet it. They're like, yeah. no. Oh, no. I should have done Barney or something. Yeah. That was less when aggressive. We were, <laughs> when we were over Zoom, I like I had this big project, and the kids were all like in class. It was, you know, half of them were paying attention, half weren't. And I was like, okay, guys, so I really need you to focus for this next thing I'm going to say because this is really going to affect your grade on this project. I'm like, okay, so when you go to do the paper, you need to make sure that you, and like I kept mouthing the words. <laughs> and that like, threw me up there. I thought I was having a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, wait, what? She okay. I like pretended, I was like mouthing the words, but like pretended like my volume had cut out and I just kept going. And, like, and also make sure that you, because if you don't, you're gonna, and like, they were like, Funny. wait, Mrs. Wooley, we, we can't hear you. And they're like yelling over the screen. I'm like, oh, I'm like, and they're like, wait a minute. So what do we have to do? I'm like, weren't you just listening to what I said? Wow. And they were, I, right? they were like, yeah, we were, but you, we couldn't hear you. I was like, no, I, that just shows that you weren't paying attention. I'm like, I'm a gaslight you, just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like you gaslight me. Yeah. Tables so, have turned. Yeah. I eventually was like, you know, obviously, no, I'm just kidding. I did that to you. Once where we were talking about uh, organic and inorganic materials, and I took them out. A organic and B organic. A organic and B, B organic, organic materials. <laughs> you should always be organic. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty be typical of you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I brought the kids out to the field, like out, outside of our school, and we we're walking around and like, okay, let's look for organic materials, and, like the grass and this and that. And and I had taken a cliff, a chocolate cliff bar, and I had broken off a piece of it and rolled it up so it looked like a turd, and I'd set it in the grass. And we we're walking through. I'm like, oh guys, everybody, come look at this. And I, we all get down. I'm like, okay, so this is an animal dropping. This is actually organic and they're like okay cool and i pick it up and i was like yeah so what you can actually do with these <laughs> is you can eat them and i take a bite out of it no and the kids just died i would I just scream. die i'm surprised no one threw up and then I, I took a bite of it and they're like "Ooh, that's so gross and i went hey yeah you try a bite of it and you toss it to a kid and they just lose their minds just lose it that's we great. did it as 
kids, right? Like I remember pranking teachers and stuff as a kid and then being shocked when it happened to me. <laughs> yeah. I remember like in middle school, we um, there was like a privileged seating. So if you had like a certain a GPA in middle school, you got to like go to a different section of the of the I'm cafeteria. I'm not sure I like the title of I know. that. It was gross. <laughs> they stopped doing this stuff. Like just like they don't call it gifted anymore. Cause I'm like, this is such gross terms that we're using. But you got to go over there and you got to pick your seat and everyone else was assigned a seat. It was really weird. It was a weird incentive, but do you guys know what a no-baked cookie is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we took the straws from the milk and we were like pushing it through the no-baked. So some of it was going into the straw. And then we took it and we pushed it out into the corner and we called one of the lunch like workers over like a rat pooped. Uh-huh. And we're pointing at it and we're like, I cannot believe this. And she was like, mm, that's not rat poop, but there's a camera up there and they're gonna <laughs> well no, but I'm not kidding by the next period I was called on the office. I'm like, I thought it was just a prank. <laughs> Are you serious? So mad. Oh my gosh. I, my mom worked for the school, she's a social worker. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get grounded for, oh, no. for making rat poop. Um, oh no. Yeah. The fifth years, I feel like they aren't that clever yet. <laughs> oh, and I was they in don't... sixth grade, so I mean <laughs> Yeah. See, it's that year gap. They really learn a lot. No, but like they're not that clever to come up with like these detailed ornate yeah. pranks. So like they prank me on a daily basis in small ways. So like when they come back from lunch and my door is shut, they line up outside of my door along the lockers. And while they're waiting for me, like almost every day, one of them will stand behind my door. They think that is the funniest I thing. I know. And then I'll open the door and it'll touch their toes. And I'm like, get out from behind the door. And they're like, how did you know I was back there? I wonder. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe when my door hit your shoes, <laughs> you it's, it's act like, when like a person... you really hurt them. Like my kids will do that. They'll be like, oh, I gotta go to the nurse. Yeah. <laughs> or they'll like, I'll be like eating my breakfast while they're eating their breakfast. And I have like a granola bar and I set it down on my table. And I have one kid who does this every day. Like I'll have my food and my coffee and he'll walk up to my desk and do one of these like with a, like a slow hand grab. And he's like <laughs> acting like he can't be seen and he'll start grabbing my food. I'm like, do not touch my food. <laughs> and I'm like, but they don't, they don't come up with these no. like oh, detailed pranks. I had uh, two students, this actually just happened. They came down to my classroom uh, and they were like, hey, can you send a contract for us? I was like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, we want you to sign a contract that says you are okay with us pranking you on April Fool's Day, no matter what it is, you can't be mad. And I said, absolutely <laughs> not. I said, that oh. is a terrible idea. Like, oh, come on, do it. I said, never in a million years no. will I sign this contract. No. Yeah, yeah I will give you my signature. Yeah, not going to Oh, my gosh. Do that. When we do class rewards and stuff and they vote on their rewards, one of my kids, they always try to, like, get – um a yes day as a suggestion. Oh, no. What's a yes day? It's basically where I can't say no to them. Oh no, that sounds and unsafe. I, well, no, I straight up tell them like I am not writing that on this board yeah. for one reason. It's because of safety. And there was yeah. this damn Netflix show that was a that was a yes, yes day, it's and it's TikTok ruined too. it. And yeah. they were oh. like, okay, how about like a yes half hour and I was like I can't even agree to that no. I'm sorry I, nope. I, I, str- I did the the yes day but it was How all it go? planned out with Tell my students everything. like it was for views and so it was like you know you're gonna ask for pizza they did earn a pizza party mm-hmm. but okay. they wanted like the yes day yeah. so I was like you're gonna ask for pizza and I'm gonna act like I just went and got it but I already got it this morning you're gonna oh, ask for funny. a movie but we already had planned it so we had like ground rules yeah. mm-hmm. and then the other rule was like they all had to have their masks on yeah. because they didn't want to like film their whole face but mm-hmm. that was 2021, 2020, mm, I yeah. still have students asking but the for the yes, yes day. day. And I'm like, you guys, understand it. they're it was, fake. It, it wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not real. Fake. I did it for the vine. <laughs> 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 I really, we really did yeah. do those things, but it, like I said, it wasn't like, oh, you have to give me a million dollars. It was everything was planned out mm. and then, I don't, and then my we My palms it, are so. sweaty thinking of a yes day. It sounds like it would be, I can't imagine <laughs> what a yes wreck. day. Oh yes. my gosh. A literal The things they would ask for. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Yeah. Crazy. Do you think if teachers had a yes day, what would be on yours? Ooh. No. Not go to the work. <laughs> not go say, to the work. Actually, day I only off. have one yes. <laughs> Booze in off. the in the uh, staff workroom. Wait, I don't know why you're missing the entire like whole goal here. Don't go to work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just want to not be at work today. And they're, they're, I, I just need one Dave's yes like, from no, you. no, I still want to be there. Yeah. It's like, we've had teaching to do, I dang it. right? just love kids right. so much. I just love them so I much. I need drunk. to be there. I don't do yeah. it for the income. I do I, it for the outcome. I don't do it That's for the right. income. I do it for summers off. Right? Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Put that on record. Summers off. Just kidding. Yeah. I summers have, off. I have a sticker on my laptop that says, I teach for the money and the fame. And my, my, <laughs> my kids will come up to the desk, my students, and they'll be like, 
what? I'm like, well, I mean, I'm TikTok famous. So. <laughs> All the money, honey. I'm like, I don't got money, but I got I, one of those things. I always love hearing the stories about senior pranks. What are some of the craziest senior prank stories that you guys have oh, heard I've of? I've got and, so and, many. Well, right, I should back up. Have you, did you do a senior prank on your teachers like when you were in high school? Ours was dumb. Ours was, oh, okay. Ours was so dumb. Class of 2012, you disappoint me. But <laughs> so like their grand idea was to like in we'd be in class and then every hour on the hour at like whatever o'clock and 12 past because we were 2012, mm. we would all leave class and like jog around the building going class of 2012 and like just all through this because our our high school is huge and it was just it's four giant squares Mm. so you could walk the whole giant square all together so like that was their grand master plan was all right guys it's 10 12 let's go walk and say class of 2012 hilarious i know it it was like on the news and everything i would have just not gone back (laughs) so bad like on the verge of being a crime and like i don't even know who planned it but um our big senior trip was uh i think we went to cedar point but then we also went bowling because i'm I'm from michigan so that's what we do in the midwest oh sorry senior skip day Oh, oh okay. so like we had to skip. Senior trip. We had to skip together. So yeah. our senior skip day was like we took you know buses over to like the yeah. local bowling They allowed alley. you to do that. The the school like set it up. Oh, no. they don't yeah. let us do. They, so let us do. we they like threw an expulsion bowling. when we tried doing a skip day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and we're like getting on the bus, and there's like this big commotion going on, and then we realize because I wasn't one of the cool kids, believe it or not. And I don't. You, <laughs> neither was Tell. I, I was neither was Tell. I mean. <laughs> We can be lame together. And so then I'm finding out, like, the prank was that a bunch of the cool kids, like, stole the bowling shoes. And I'm like, you guys are so stupid. Like, yeah, that's that. you have to give them your no, no, shoes no. to get your shoes back. Like, it made so they, no sense. So they didn't get bowling shoes, but they got, like, these yeah. uh, probably some, like, nice tennis shoes and yeah, stuff over it there. it made no sense. I was like, I'm not a part of this. You're pranking like, yourself. It, it was the one time I was happy to, like, not be a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely not a cool kid. Um, I will say... By senior year, I was not, it was not a, a cool, it's because I think I was nice to people, but I was homecoming king my senior year. Prank on me, though, my freshman year, I didn't know, because I was a freshman, I didn't know how the high school worked. Um, I didn't know that they nominate the girl in earnest, but not the guy. It's a joke for the guy that they nominate. And so I thought I got nominated because they liked me. And then I go to the football field on homecoming and they're doing it. And then my class bully, um, who's a jerk Sad crowns face. me with the tiara and then and i had to pretend i was on the That's joke like a movie. it was like, like a movie and i was and then terrible. i like went there and I, I took it off and the homecoming princess at the time was like super nice and i was like i never want to do this again and then senior year and i was nominated i'm like no yeah and You're then like, there's I'm no claiming no this. like really like you were nominated i'm like oh okay never mind i was like That's no i don't so do mean. That. i feel horribly like really my mean. worst nightmare in high school it was i was yeah. humiliated and or i was like like, so or like mean. someone asking you out and then it being a joke because that was like a super middle school thing it was yeah. like they'd ask you out and then the next day oh it's just a joke so whenever i was asked out in high school, I was like, yeah, right. Like, you're I believe it. it was, especially when you're on AIM, you uh, can't read that. You don't know the tone. That was, at my school, there were a couple that were that mean. bordered not even just mean, but dangerous. Really? Like the one I remember the most was there was this girl, and she like our our auditorium hallway is also huge, and it's very wide. So she took a giant bottle of baby oil and dumped it all the way down the auditorium hallway. And it connects, like that auditorium hallway connects the two giant parts of the school. So almost everyone walks down that hallway between classes. Why would you do that? Where do you get that much baby oil? (laughs) Right? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Like, Babies R Us Depot? I don't know. (laughs) That's why there was a shortage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she dumps this bottle down the hallway, and then the bell rings. And people start walking down the hallway, and you just see people freaking going down and like I'm not talking like they just slipped and like caught themselves like people were falling on their asses oh, and it no. like they were getting hurt bad and and it was one girl who thought it was funny one girl did this there's always and that one person who thinks like yeah, yeah. people, people could have really gotten hurt and she ended up um they almost didn't let her graduate yeah. and she was not allowed to walk at graduation. Mm. They like banned her from graduation because of what she did. And she was suspended for like the last few days. We had uh, somebody at my high school. They had broken into the school and filled up uh, red never... solo cups with water and lined the hallway. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's it funny. was kind of funny, but uh, janitors, they, they were not oh. laughing about I don't it. Think yeah. I feel like it's legal. 
<laughs> well, th- right. Like, yeah. also, don't break into your school. Breaking and entering. Right. I think, like, one thing I will say is I, I don't think we have a lot of students w- that watch. But if if you do, always talk to the custodians about it. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times they will like, tell you how to do the prank in a way that's not going to make their lives harder. Yep. Or know that you need to stay after and help Clean with that. Yeah. Like, the... One of the neighboring schools, it's a farming community. They did the whole, and this is like something that I think so many farming communities do where they re- release pigs into the school and they number them and you can't find the other numbered one. They had done that, but all the kids stayed after and was like, cleaned it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it wasn't just like this thing where it's like, but I don't, like, I feel like you have to let them in on it. Yeah. Like the baby oil stuff, how do you clean that up? Yeah. Right. Like, it's, yeah, it's not it's, even it's funny. Not, no. no, it's not. Pranks That's... aren't cool if it's a huge pain in the butt for somebody afterwards. Or someone gets hurt. <laughs> or someone gets hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's just supposed to be that. a laugh. Yeah. Well, yeah. like, yeah. it's like jokes when they'll say mean things to each other in class. I'm like, oh, I'm just joking. I'm like, jokes are supposed to be funny. Right. Like, yeah, not right. just being hurtful. Yeah. Yeah. Or the yeah. person has to be in on, like, roasting someone. The person has to be in on the yeah. roast. Which it makes it funny, mm-hmm. but yeah. I don't know. Some of the stuff I'm like, and I think y'all mean. Yeah, <laughs> I think sometimes like with the senior pranks, like I've noticed the schools that allow it and like set ground rules, but allow the kids to like get yeah. that out of their system. Oh, yeah, like they're less destructive. hundred percent. And they're actually like decently thought out pranks. Mm-hmm. Like I know, um, like Brooke Rogers, um, Mrs. Rogers. She, I, what is her? Oh, that new teacher. Okay. Mm. She is um, over in California. And I think it was her that her school does the senior prank mm-hmm. and they allow the kids to like come into the school and they just like, they'll put toilet paper everywhere, silly string. They move all the chairs and desks yeah. around, but all the kids have to put it all back. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there was another school that does that where they allow all the kids to like take all their papers and like stuff out of their binders and they dump it down this main, oh, the main stairwell. That. Did you see that TikTok? Yeah. And then they all clean it up. Like, that's fine mm-hmm. in my in my eyes as long as you're cleaning it up like it builds camaraderie afterwards to do it yeah. too yeah. i remember we um so i don't even know how we pulled this off but all the seniors were like was it our senior year or was it just a prank we all like moved the clocks back and then our teachers were like <laughs> oh my gosh like well, i can't believe time's going by and we're like, cracking and we co- totally like told on ourselves because i'm just i can't keep a straight face for the life of me but i remember like not even kind of really thinking that what happens when you're released from class yeah. only 15 minutes early, you're just walking around the hall for the next 20 minutes. Like, but that was like a very Living harmless prey that side. like no one was, <laughs> we're going to go, Ooh. we're going to go walk the halls for that 15 is. minutes. Yeah. Just like Hilarious. we went to the bathroom. I know. Like, so our, uh, our admin one time they pranked us and we had a, uh, uh, professional development day and at the, at the end of the day, it was, uh, we were in the auditorium and, and we were getting ready to be done with the day. And, and so I think because our contract hours, we get out at 4.15 and I think it was 3.15. Mm-hmm. And our vice principal, she's like, hey, I got to tell you guys something. Um, you're, you're all going to have to stay after a little bit longer. We just found out from the state of South Dakota, we have to go through this new recertification thing. We've got two videos that we got to watch and each of them are, are an hour and a half long. So oh sorry, I would riot. you're going to have to stay. And we're all like, <laughs> Are you kidding me? We really have to do this? And then she's like, nah, I'm just kidding. You guys get out of here. And it was awesome. It was, it was that that was actually a good admin yeah. prank. I don't know why, but you just reminded me of a prank that a bunch of our staff played on our admin like this fall. So we had like our spirit week or whatever. Mm-hmm. We do like a twin day and someone in the office sent out this picture of our three admin together. So we have they're all males. So we have um, a male principal and then two male. APs. And so they sent out this picture of them that kind of looks like, you know that movie Step Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that, but it's the yeah. three of them. And she goes, we're going to make t-shirts. And everyone, <laughs> oh, you know, if you want one, it's like five bucks and we're all going to wear them and surprise them. And so we all were in the cafe that morning with all the same shirt. And then they walked in and it was, it was pretty funny. And it was especially <laughs> funny because the kids all day were like, Where'd you all get these shirts? And I'm like, Walmart. Like they were over in the local section. Like you didn't see someone did that to my principal, but with like, do you know the from? I think it was from the inauguration. Bernie Sanders sitting like oh, in the chair yeah. yeah. with yeah. the mittens. They they plastered the principal's face as Bernie Sanders and just put <laughs> it all over the school. It was you, funny. You gotta be careful with those. Like we did um, Elf on a Shelf, and like I, my class didn't do it. And so what they did as a joke is they they made this like paper Elf on a Shelf. And f- my hallway it was pre K, and then um, second grade was in this side, and I think third grade was on that side. And so I thought it'd be funny one day when they were doing Elf on the Shelf to go into one of the classrooms and it's like paper cut out of an elf, and I put my face on it looking like this. <laughs> over the thing and I had put it on there. funny teeth my, face. <laughs> I thought it was so funny and I put it in there and the teacher's like, it scared me because like, 
I would move it. And so one time she like walks in, it's like in the window looking at her. And I done messed up because then what they did is they took that copy of my face and they plastered all down oh, the halls. No. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. It was during one of the Backfired. programs too. So it's like uh, everyone between like our kids didn't participate. It was like K through six. Like all the parents came and went to the gym. <laughs> my face just lined down there. Oh man. That was a funny one. So uh, we we found out earlier this year that the kids were going to do a prank of a sit a sit in. So everybody, there were, all the kids were going to get out of their seats and sit on the floor. Okay. Because middle schoolers for some reason think that's, that's hilarious. hilarious. What are they, pro- yes. what are they protesting? Yeah. Uh, they just thought it was funny. Like it was going to be a prank. <laughs> so our admin they found out about it and they sent out an email and they said hey in order to squash this all you teachers do it a minute before they're yes. supposed oh, to that so it makes funny. it so uncool <laughs> yeah. that they're no longer going to do it so all the teachers did it yep. and it was so uncool after yep. that if there's anything like that that annoys you just like you start doing it and then uh-huh. they will immediately stop like, it's not cool anymore not uh, cool we had nope, um, the teacher did it we're done <laughs> before uh labor day so labor day monday um Thursday, we uh, stay after school um, and we do this thing where like we, this was at the private schools at, um, summer is a uh, academic summer camp. So I worked year round. And so it was really fun. We had like a, like a legit zoo come into the school. We had like, it was just every week was a different thing. It was super fun. But then, you know, you stayed Thursday and you would reset up your classroom for the school year. And then Friday, um, we would come in for just the morning and then we would go home we had a half day we got monday off everyone looked forward to it. but what we got to do is once the kids left they would cater dinner and we could drink like they would bring like alcohol mm-hmm. and so we do that in the evening and then the next the next day um can you know kids are there we would have like mimosas and bloody mary's and brunch and it's my first year doing this um and so i come in and it's like eight o'clock when we go in and back nine three i had a couple mimosas i'm warm um i was feeling warm and they were like tell what are you doing and i'm in my room because i was i we, there wasn't like a section where we all went i'm like what and they're like tell the kids come for half day today and i was like i'm like getting ready to sob and they let it go for a little too long i'm freaking out. i'm like oh my god i'm gonna get fired and they're just like no i we're joking you get to leave at 12 spiral i was like That's oh my god so i have funny. to be honest with you guys i drank like i have like a mimosa in hand <laughs> i drink it right now <laughs> that's so funny yeah. so some admin stuff that, i mean that got me that that i was like okay you know what's super one. mean okay so did you guys have to take like standardized tests to get your teaching license and stuff yeah mm-hmm. okay so at the testing center in my local college that i went to Um, I went in to take the test and it was the one that like it literally gives you your score and whether you passed or failed the moment you're finished Mm -hmm. and it prints it out onto the printer upside down Yes, (laughs) and they usually let you pick it up to look at it. Well, the lady um, who ran the testing center was like I was walking out of the room and I was like a nervous wreck because I am a bad test taker. I have horrible test anxiety and she picks up the paper and she goes. Oh, honey. No. And like that calming, so- like oh, disappointment no. voice. The God bless your heart moment. Yeah. And she goes, oh. And I like the little like, and I'm oh. like, what? <laughs> I'm like about I'm to cry. Throw up. <laughs> and she goes, you passed. And I was like. <laughs> that's not cool. I think that's their favorite thing to do. And I, I think, I, I literally think my body went into shock. I was like. It's the longest test. I will leave now. <laughs> like, I would have no. lost it. I was so no. mad. I would have lost it. I, I'm in shock that you got to, ours was you keep taking it, and then once you get enough pass or enough fails, it just shuts off. No, that's like the driver's ed test. No. I like feel for that. Your, for your permit. Yeah, I feel that when I took it at 12 in South Dakota. <laughs> just kidding. No, it was, it was 14. No. And we have to, because we have to fill well, you in on this. riding cows No. At 12, we, <laughs> this is something we legit figured out a few episodes ago. You can drive at what age? 14. 14. Yeah, it's wild. There's literally, literally South eighth Dakota graders. South is a wild, okay. wild. It's, it's the, the wild, wild west, west yeah. baby. It's <laughs> awesome. So I grew up like in Michigan, and in Michigan it was, I think it was like 15. But for a permit. For you a could permit. get your permit mm-hmm. at 15. And then 16 and was then, your license. Yes. Six, that's how, yeah. But nah. you, at 14. At 14, you would get your permit. permit. They'd be letting And then a couple drive. months later, you would get your restricted. So you could be 14 and be driving by yourself between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. I'd be like, like, no, you can have your restricted license. You can drive between the hours of three and six. That's it. <laughs> three. You can drive. Right? I was like, um, you can you can drive around your block. Like, I <laughs> after a busy day of work, I love being able just to walk into my house and everything that I need for dinner that night is sitting right there in a bag, ready to get cooked. 
Go to HelloFresh.com slash Todd60 and use code Todd60 for 65% off plus free shipping. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com slash Todd60 and use code Todd60 for 65% off plus free shipping. Make sure you check out HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Okay, well, my very first experience in driver's ed, he literally took us downtown Detroit, like on the freeway, like on 75 at rush hour. No. Like, oh, yeah. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. You. That is a bad prank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't a prank. That was real life. <laughs> uh, no. Hey, no. Lauren. Lauren, I got a question for scary. you. Yeah. What are things students do that you just don't get? Oh, I'm glad you asked. It's so strange that you would ask me that, but... This is like one of my favorite things we do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Such a smooth transition there. <laughs> this I mean, is something I know you can relate to probably. 100%. I don't know if you guys, if this happens to you guys. When they come up to ask you a question during like group work and wait <sighs> until they're right in your face and sneeze all over oh, you without covering their mouth. My gosh. It's the mm. biggest pet peeve of mine. It's like... I don't need it to rain on me right now. This is not an Ariana Grande Lady Gaga song. No, I am. I'm Lady, literally, Lady, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga? <laughs> no, it's disgusting. No, I, I literally gag. Because I'm, uh, I'm like, you, you just, just sneeze, sneeze back down back my throat. Them? No, no, it's a no, projectile I've, sne- I've never had that. I have never had, had kids because they'll say it so, so they'll be like, oh, sorry, because nah. they really didn't mean to. But like, they're 10 and like, you know, you feel bad. Yeah. But you're also like, okay, why don't you take a step back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've had kids like spit when they're talking. Mm. That too. But I'm like, I don't know how to react because I'm like, I don't want to embarrass them. So I'm just standing I there like taking back. it and then I wait until they're gone. Sometimes I do that. I'll, I will physically plane, move myself. On the plane yesterday, I was talking and then the dude, like he gave one of these, like a wipe across the eye. I'm like, did I just spit on this dude? Did you? I don't think so. So he actually did it like twice. So he did it again. I'm like, ah, he's just itchy. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just itchy. He, 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 he was just, just guys covered no, in, in game space. Like, <laughs> I'm, just... I'm telling you, elementary school kids do not have any no. sense of a personal space None. bubble. Do and they schools. will get, no, but I mean, like they yeah, will get right yeah. up on you. So like, I'll be like, I have my desk up against the wall. And then I took my like guided reading table and I pulled it up the opposite way of my desk. So I'm taking up the least amount of space in the room. And I sit back there when they're working or whatever. And like, they know they're not supposed to go behind my desk, but like, do they listen? No. No. Mm-hmm. So no. like, they will constantly like bring something up for me to answer a question about. They'll set it down on my desk and they'll be like, hold on, I'm gonna move away from the mic for a minute. So Mrs. Wooly, I need to, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna need you to take two steps backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the, the the closeness of and your your mom, you'll know. It's like when you can smell they're sick, like we can smell their breath yes. and know they're sick. <laughs> the kids, when you can feel their hot breath, be like, Mr. Williams, <laughs> I don't feel very good. Or my favorite, <laughs> I flew up. <laughs> I'm like, I know. I threw up. They didn't throw up. They threw up. They flew up. Bobby, we smell. (laughs) So the one thing I cannot handle like in life is throw up. And that was probably one of the hardest things about being a parent Mm -hmm. is throw up. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I had a student ask to go to the bathroom. They weren't feeling feeling well. And I'm like, you know, sure, go ahead. I guess she didn't like hear me. And she's like raising her hand, literally like (laughs) shows me the throw up like in her mouth. And I'm like, yes, like go. And then she she did on the carpet. And I'm like, I see you throw up. Like I'm 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 gagging. I'm so upset. And I'm calling like the custodians. I'm like, "Eh, I'm sorry, but eh, I really need you to come here. And then of course, trying to retell the story to my my husband that night. I'm like, oh God, I'm so gross. (laughs) The trauma stuck in my nose. (laughs) There was a TikTok I just saw this week. It was like a mom and a dad and the mom it was like one of their cams in their house they their daughter like she was feeding their daughter she picks her up out of the high chair and she had a blowout and the mom was like oh. she started gagging like audibly gagging and then the dad's like upstairs and she, the mom's like can you come help me please <laughs> and then the dad goes well stop doing that stop gagging and he walks up next to the, <laughs> the baby he's like who like, starts doing it worse than the mom oh. and and she's like oh yeah stop yeah, yeah. it's just <laughs> that easy but i'm like that's exactly how that goes you throw up yeah. it's, it's weird it's it's like after teaching pre-k like i feel like maybe as a mom too you get like desensitized so like no I, you I, never I, do for the throw the throw up i got over pretty fast the poop all of that it's still snot it's the the sneezing that's when you what said my I'm mom like, says she's a nurse and she's like i don't do mucus yeah 
Yep. Like, that's, that's the one, the one thing I can't no. do. Can't do mucus? Her. No, mm-hmm. she can't. Like, this, that's her thing. I don't know. My kids come up to me, it's cold outside. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> like, go get one of those tissue yeah, Kleenexes. Yeah, you see, like, their, their, like, boogers and mucus, like, caking the inside of their nostrils. Oh, I hate that. Yuck. And they'll just be like, Mrs. Woolley. So I, I'm like, please go blow, blow your nose, and then you can come talk yeah. to me again. Like, Oof. the worst thing is killing bugs. Like we really? get, we get really big bugs in Florida. Like yeah. oh, you guys do have big true. bugs, right? Yeah, that's right. And there was this one time we had like this I don't know what it was. Like we, we call them palmetto bugs they're because we're cockroaches. fancy, but they're flying cockroaches. What? And I was like in my room and I'm like trying to get it out and I finally like hit it with a broom or something. Ooh. I'm like, okay, like you know, I'm gonna be real dramatic and like smash it on the floor. The minute I smash it and I like hear it and see the guts, yeah. I'm immediately like it's gagging like- again. <laughs> Oh no! And like I just opened the door for like class to start, so I'm opening the door, and they're like, "You okay?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm like wiping my nah, eyes. My kid, gra- like t- the other day, we had like we have we use like a balance in um in math, so he was like grabbing it because he had to clean up the weights inside of it, and he m- he moves all the weights. He goes, "There's a stink bug in here, and it's dead." And I was like. <laughs> okay, and he goes, "Don't worry, I'll get it," and like picks it up no. and throws it away with his bare hand, and I was like. Hand sanitize, please. <laughs> you can't do that with lizards. Like, thank Wash. you, thank yeah. you for doing that. But go hand sanitize. We'll just pick up the lizard, right now. and I'm like, okay. Oh, yes, no. you do, you boo. Okay, so this one I definitely always have. Like, you have that moment in 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 teaching where you put your all into mm-hmm. a lesson. You've just given a thousand percent. You sounded like impactful AF. Yeah. And <laughs> you and you go, okay, so great job, guys. Did anyone have any questions? And someone raises their hand and says, can I go to the bathroom? Oh. Yeah. Always That's deflated. Yeah. And you just deflate. Or really like, wow, just like make a really cool t-shirt, like hashtag. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the bathroom? In, no, inspirational AF or whatever yeah. you said. Inspirational AF. <laughs> in the back, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going full up. Put that on your Etsy shop. Up. Oh my gosh. My students aren't usually like, can I go to the bathroom? But I know like when you're working hard on projects, I specifically remember doing, um, I, we usually did like, um, themes around the world during holidays. And so any anything that you celebrated, whether it's secular Christmas, non-secular Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, anything, we learned, everyone learned about it. Like a mm-hmm. parent would come and read a book. It, the classroom loved it. One year though, we had a child who was Jehovah's Witness. And I was like, no, I'm gonna get creative. If, if you know, we, we won't, we'll do it differently this year. We'll learn about snow and reindeer and, and trees and stuff like that. So I came up with this project where the kids, have you seen like ice skating on paper plates? Yeah. 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 On carpet. So I'm like, we're going to design the top of it and we're going to do all this stuff and we're going to ice skate to like let it go. And I picked up like six different songs. Fun. They lasted maybe one song, started ripping them up. And then I'm <laughs> sitting there and I'm like, I don't know what to do for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> And done, done. They didn't want to do it. It wasn't fun anymore. And I was like, that's fine. That's and it's fine. heartbreaking when you're sitting there. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm amazing. No. Anytime uh-huh. I give them the opportunity to do some kind of craft, that's always how it goes. Because I'm like, <laughs> they're going to get to decorate it. They're going to get to color. And they, they're they going to love it. And then I'm like, okay, guys. And then you get to color it. And they're like, ugh. Coloring's for babies. I know. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> are, you <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm like, color. I could have you write a five- a five paragraph essay right now. Yeah. Color. <laughs> my kids will rage if I pull out crayons. Oh my god. Really? Oh yeah. Like we're not in elementary school, so I have colored pencils and I have sharpies. Right. They will but do I crayons. I love crayons. <laughs> like you outline that stuff with a marker and then colored in with mm-hmm. crayon. It looks it's so fancy. fresh. Speaking of looking fresh, makes me think about something. What's it make you think about, Gabe? Makes me think about <laughs> products. <laughs> What kind of products? Think of products in school. They're seamless. Are they garbage or are they good? With Gabe. With Gabe. That's me. You know what product I'm thinking about, Del? I honestly have no idea what product you're thinking of. Vic, zoom in on me, brother. So, the producers, are, I think, are about ready to pee their pants. <laughs> They're going to throw up. They're going to throw up. You know what product I'm thinking about? What product? Do you want to give us a clue, see if we can guess it? What product? No. <laughs> Shh. Can you tell we went to bed at four in the morning? Right here. You know what product I'm thinking about? The holy grail of utensils. Is it good? Is it garbage? I don't know. You know what I think? I think it's good. What it's is the it? ultimate... Holy Grail in grating. You take off the cap. Smell it. Smells delicious. It's got all kinds of different colors. I, this is reminds not where I thought he me, was going. <laughs> reminds me of one of my favorite wrestlers ever. I knew he was going to. Rick Flair. 
You're talking about flare pens, aren't okay, you? Okay, hold on. Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! Flare pens. I love flare pens, dude. I thought you were going to say sporks. <laughs> Because He's you said, you said you, you no, no, it was bef- before you said you smell it. Like you said utensils. Yeah, and utensils. I was like, oh, like, it's the yeah. dual utensil yeah. sports. No. No. no, no, flare pens. A flare flare pen. pens. All right, listen, like listen to this utensil. one. All right, so flare pens. I love flare pens. This is a good product. You want to know why it's a good product? Because it writes in such a crisp way. It makes my handwriting make, make me look less serial killer. It's my favorite thing to write with. What's your favorite color to write with with a flare pen? <laughs> blood red. Yeah, blood red. Blood. No, I'd probably say green. I like the color green of the flare pen. So it's like a crisp green. Do you, you gra- do you grade with green? Like the lime green? No, 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 no. Like a like green, the evergreen green. green. Like a grass green. Kelly like green. A grass green. Lime, yeah. Like a Kelly yeah. green. Who's Kelly? Kelly green. Kelly green is like a bright Christmas it's a green. color. Yeah, that's a color. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Kelly green. I'm colorblind. I knew it was a color. <laughs> I love flare I'm pens. I'm just an idiot. I don't know it's the color. It's named after Emerald, Kelly Clarkson right? because it's her favorite color. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> it does. She said turn. break away. <laughs> so but, I like the green one. But it leaks through. No, 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 no. No. Y'all, no. No. I have never had a flare pen that did not leak. F- like, not. I'm not saying all the way. I'm not saying all the way, but you flip it over and you can see. Hun, you're pressing too hard. It, it depends <laughs> on the pressed. paper. <laughs> <laughs> I. What kind of paper are you using? Thick paper. I want to know <laughs> what weight. What weight is your computer paper? Because that's part of why it's he jamming uses up. Magazines. We already talked. Yeah, about that's it. right. Yeah, it's, like it's the magazines. It's the magazines. Listen, I want to apologize in advance for my laugh. I literally can't control how cackly it is today, and it's, it's unhinged. Well, it's always like that. No, but <laughs> I'm like, just kidding. no, it is. But today, especially, <laughs> I, mean, I could, I could add you to my file of teachers who are secretly witches. It's me, Ooh, Kelly really? I'm the witch. We're all like teacher tired at this point. It's like the point in the year where it is teacher tired. It's every man for himself. It's every man for himself. (laughs) Every man, woman, child, guinea pig for themselves. It is just. You got to get to the spring break if you have it. And then you're you're golden. You just got to get there. I got to get there. I want to so badly call your school and be like, can you go get Gabe's flare pens (laughs) and take a blow dryer to the tip of them and just dry Dry them them all all out. out. See, but that's the best part. You can leave the cap off for so long and they won't dry out. Am I using the wrong flare pen? Yeah. Yes, you are. You've got the off-brand flare Listen, pens. Listen, no, but my favorite, because, okay, tell me if you agree. There are two different kinds of flare pens. Yes, like, they're I all the same kind. One. But some of the flare pens you use and they, like, the tip softens and so it's yeah. fatter. And then sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> That's a fat pen. And then sometimes... <laughs> It doesn't, <laughs> and it's like, stay sharp. and it's not as fun to write with, and it stays sharp. That maybe that's the ones I'm thinking of because the I ones like I stay the ones sharp when and they dry out. Up. I like them like that. <laughs> I don't, y'all. Maybe pre-Kers teachers don't get to use flare pens, but <laughs> woo, <laughs> Ryan flare pen. I'm <laughs> questioning who I am right now. <laughs> You said green, though. And do you know why I love that you said green? Why? Because we've had this debate so many times, and you're a science teacher, and science is green. green. It's What's green. What's math? Red, because it's evil. White. Blue. White. Math no. is blue. No. Math no, no, is blue. no, 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 no. Math Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Before we start throwing out colors, what colors are available? So we we know we have a red, a Where'd blue, a green. I, I agree bib? on green being science. Okay, let's do, we'll go through yeah. this. I'm going to say English. Blue. Red. Purple. I feel like it's yellow because like books. It's blue. Are like mine's red because red reminds me no. of books and apple and like the first thing I think of when I think of school is reading. No, red. reading is purple. Yeah. Okay. Um, math. I mean, math, to me, it's blue. Red. Blue. It's red. It's white. Least intimidating color. Math is intimidating. <laughs> I'm sorry, math teachers. Math is blue. I, I yours? was really bad at math. I think it's red because red is just like a scary color. See, and, like math. It, is I was so bad scary at math to too, but that's why I make it blue. But I make it like a light cute blue. Oh, so it's like, like I make it fun. <laughs> um, science green. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, social studies. Social, yellow. Red. Yellow or orange? Red. Yellow, orange. Yes. Orange. Um, are there other subjects? PE? I think PE was. <laughs> <laughs> Who had a PE folder? We used to have to do journals. We, uh, oh, we had to. Yeah. We had to do, Not high. You yes. had to. Whatever unit you were on, we had to learn. Like I know how to keep, keep track on paper of a baseball game. Like That was our unit. Huh. Oh, no. Like in football and all that stuff, we had to like, write down. Like, I, I actually knew the rules cool. of football at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday, we would have to do like a journal entry, and it could be whatever we wanted. This, <laughs> um, and I definitely, we, I had a love hate relationship yeah. with my PE teacher. He had coached my cousins a few years before on the football team, and so I think he had an idea of who I was before he even met me. And I'm like, no, like I'm a good kid. So we had a very like interesting relationship, and so um, this is 
when uh have you ever seen 10 things i hate about you yeah okay so i'm class of 2004 (gasps) so it was like you know around that time and i was really mad at him for making me do the journal so i did 10 things i hate about his name was mr ratliff about mr ratliff but they were nice that's angsty i love it it's very julia styles so i still have it actually speaking of nice things you guys want to play a game yes Yes. (gasps) i like playing do you guys want to lie to each other yeah maybe i love lying (laughs) to my friends (laughs) It's the game. Okay, what? so the game we're going to play today is called Fool Me Twice. And the reason that we're calling it that is because each of us had to come up with three things, whether they were true or false, about ourselves. And everyone else whose turn it is not is going to decide whether or not that person is telling the truth with a thumbs up. Or if they're lying, they're going to show a thumbs down. And then if that person was lying... The the person who like yeah you know got the lie would be right if the person was telling the truth the person who said it was the truth would be right yeah so if you get it wrong you were fooled once yeah if you get fooled twice you're out you're out you get punched lose. in the face yeah if you get fooled twice Gabe will punch that. you in the throat yeah yeah with, <laughs> with a flare pen <laughs> yeah, you're tall but like my husband's as tall as you so just warning you <laughs> all right who wants to go first you uh, yeah. I do yeah I want to go first so give us give us one okay. Is this statement true or false? Um, I have six tattoos. That's not true. I got one ta- one tattoo, and it's a tramp stamp. It's awesome. You have a tramp stamp? No, I'm kidding. No, he no, doesn't. Oh, my God. I got so excited for a minute. I was like, give us tattoos? <laughs> no, I don't have any. Um, we, so we were right. Yeah, yeah we were right. right. Yeah. I didn't even get a chance. I know. He like jumped on it. He was very nervous. So you're People automatically right. Okay, it's your. I, you, I, are we go one one at a time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Go ahead. All right. Your turn. Um, I had detention three times in the first grade. I I'm going with that's I false. It. it was true. Ooh. What <laughs> oh, did no, you do? Oh no, I was fooled once. Uh, <laughs> once I put glue in another kid's book and shut it. That's funny. Um, another time I stood <laughs> on a table. I don't know why. Very captain, my captain. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Very society. Yeah. The the last one was we were having like quiet time, um, and I was not being quiet. Like I thought I don't know how to whisper, and so she gave me a note home, and I thought I'd be cool, and I like ripped it up and threw it in the garbage in front of my bestie. Well, my bestie told on me. So then the next day, I got a detention paper, and she goes, "Try throwing this away." Ooh. Oh, she yeah. got you. Your bestie yeah. is Wait, not your bestie. I, how could they give a first grader detention? It was the 90s, man. The 90s were wild. The 90s were wild. What was first grade detention, though? Like, what would you do? I just stayed after school for an hour. I had to come in before school and, like, help. Yeah, I had to help take the chairs down and then just, like, sit and think about my choices. We did that talk with our The ultimate punishment. (laughs) Um... All right. Sit and think of my actions. Oh, no. (laughs) Me? Quiet time? Um, I didn't learn to read until I was in second grade. (laughs) <laughs> I want to say that's true because you're dyslexic. I don't know if you... S- Wait. <laughs> I, I think it might answer. be true. Yeah, I did not learn to read until I was in second grade. What? Okay, yeah. I didn't get full twice. How did you, yeah. you get through kindergarten <sighs> and first grade? Um, there's some, I think at the time they were developing the no child left behind thing. <laughs> um, but, you behind. <laughs> um, but when I was in... You don't do a lot... I remember there were sp- wall words is what we called them. And they were like one or two other words. I am two and stuff like that um i don't think i got many of those they kind of just let me go to you know first or from first to second and in second grade i really really struggled so i had to do summer school and then i remember reading the little bear books and bawling so i couldn't read them and i was like i don't want to do this anymore but i was dyslexic and then i also like was had really really bad earaches and so i would be out of school a lot so I didn't learn to read until I was in my third grade. Everyone Aww, had 30 spelling words. I had four. <laughs> can't read, can't hear. Can't read, can't Is hear. Helen Keller I can't over do there? anything. I can't, I, can't, I can't do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mine was that I was student council president in the 10th grade. I believe it. Mm-hmm. Mm, you, very, you were too specific about the grade. I fooled you guys. I was not. I actually ran for 
it was spirit school spirit officer. Oh, what does that mean? But it was fun. like the person who like there was like a council of people. So it was like there was a class president, there was vice president, treasurer, secretary, and then spirit officer. <laughs> The spirit officer was kind of like a made up title and you kind of just like went to the meetings and were a part of being an officer and kind of decorated the school and stuff like you were kind of like school culture kind of ah. for, the, for the students. So we did that. Um, and then I was the spirit officer ninth grade through 11th grade. And did you I, get a badge because you're an officer? No. A sash, right? <laughs> yeah. <a> sash. <laughs> no. I ran my senior year and then another girl ran against me and won my senior year. Wow. I was like, wow. Well, you were, you, you did, <laughs> you were so bad at your not real job that they, had to re <laughs> <laughs> they put you out of office. That's tough. Hey, right. I was reelected three years running, though. There you go. All right, mine. Is this true or false? I used to count cards as my source of income in college. I actually did that. Yeah. Ooh. So. Ooh. It's not illegal. <laughs> That's so illegal. When, when living up or in. Or is it only illegal if you get caught? Only. <laughs> it depends. It depends. So living up in uh, yes. Fargo, North Dakota, you <laughs> know, oh, don't you know, a lot of yeah. casinos. And we would, uh, we had blackjack at every like bar in town. So my roommates and I, we all learned how to count cards. And my number one source of income in college was playing blackjack. And I learned how to count cards. It was what awesome. What a job. What yeah. a job. Rain Did that man. increase my s statistical advantage? Barely. But it was kind of cool to say I, I was able to count cards for a little bit. Wow. For a living. For a living. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I probably all time profited like twelve dollars off of right. playing blackjack. You really a single mom who works two jobs. <laughs> she works too hard. Loves her kids. Though. Never stops. She never does. Um, give us your next slide. I had a lot of jobs before I became a teacher, and one of my jobs was I was a wedding planner. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, a I fun like, job. I hope so. I feel like oh, that's that your life? I was just like, oh, that's a fun job. <laughs> No, I true. hope I that's true. That's okay. true? I like oh, that. That's awesome. That's fun. In Michigan or uh, Florida? In, in Florida, but okay. I was told not to call it wedding planner. I was an event coordinator. Yeah. So uh, it was, there were weddings, but it was I got mostly, 100 it was mostly like golf tournaments and charity events oh, and gosh. things like that. But I can't, yeah, I can't that's why imagine. my classroom is like, I'm into the decorating. That's still that part of me. You can't, you can't take that away. You can't. Me too. I, <laughs> take yeah. the wedding out of the planner, the planner but can't take can't the, the oh, planner yeah. out of the... Yeah. I used to take over all the school dances. What? Words are hard. Tell Tell us up. Words Tell are us hard. Up. All right, here we go. Um, I was in speech therapy until I was in eighth grade. Hmm. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say false. I feel like you well, were at some point, but not till eighth grade. You haven't gotten rid of your current speech impediments. Right. So I'm going to go with false. I was in speech kidding. therapy until I was in eighth grade. Really? I um, No, I was fooled twice. Yeah. So I, I kind of gave you guys the the um, sprinkle of it because I had such bad ear infection when I was little. Yeah. Um, my, I didn't. Like again, I was real behind. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I learned to talk until I was like three or four because the ear infections like did stuff with my stuff. So I would watch the I would watch the couple wed and like I could not. And so it, I got to like sixth grade and I was still in speech. And they're like, we're gonna teach you how to like fake an accent and try to go from that perspective. So now if I get really worked up or upset. I can't, I forget to do it. And I'll be like, I just really sad. Why now? And it's, it gets so bad. And it's really embarrassing because it's always oh. happened. I'm very emotional. I'm like, oh no. Also, I made a joke that you, I said no because of your current speech impediment. You I don't actually that. have a speech impediment. I, that was a joke. He, he's like, he's like, I know that the comment section will come after me. Yeah. I, I, it's fine. When I was not to really quick, when I was in college, um, I had joined like the newspaper and the marketing director was introducing himself and he had a speech impediment. And this girl next to me who I did not even know was like, oh my God, your accent's so cute. I literally hit her and I was like, he has a speech impediment. Like what is wrong? Oh, you why know. would you note that? She thought he had like oh. an accent. <laughs> I'm like, He's where, so where exotic. He <laughs> wow. I, I, I wonder, I, I, now I wonder if people just thought I had an accent for years. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Lauren, what you got for us? You got All right. One? So uh, my sophomore year of high school, I got dumped at homecoming. Believable. I'm oh. hoping it's not. That makes me so sad. Oh. I actually broke up with the dude before homecoming. Oh. <laughs> hey. I think I'm nice. winning. Yeah. I <laughs> I was kind of like, I was bad like with the, the dating game. I could not hold down a boyfriend for a while. <laughs> you wanted to hurt the sixth grade guy who broke up with you 
again. Yeah, like, it was my revenge. It was my revenge day. <laughs> revenge yeah. day. Yeah. My revenge day. Circle that on the calendar. Yeah. No, it was because I was like, what, I was dating this kid who was literally a month younger than I was, and I was like, I don't want to date a younger man, and I broke up with him. You're so mature. I was like, wow. That's so stupid. As I think of it now, I'm like, cringe. You're, you're dumb. <laughs> but like. Yep, that's what it I did. It mattered at the time. Yeah, but I broke up with him. Like, we were supposed to, we had it planned and everything. Like, broke up with him the day, or not the day, the week before homecoming. And we still went together. I had, to, I had to convince him to go with me still. But I was just like, I just don't think we should date anymore. But we can still go to the dance together. Oh. And then we went to the dance. And after the dance, like, everyone usually went out to dinner or something. So we're all about to get in the limo to go to dinner and he's like, yeah, I just called my mom and she's going to come get me. And I was like, <laughs> okay, so you're not coming to dinner with us? And he's like, no. I'm like, all right, bye. And then we all went to dinner and everyone had their dates and it's just me. Oh, she took out her phone. But it was like, kind of like I did it to myself. So. Yeah, no. I don't really feel bad for you yeah, anymore. You yeah, you know what? No, I don't feel bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go back for that girl. <laughs> oh, I love it. But everybody, thank you for tuning into this week's episode of the Teachers Off Duty podcast. I hope that none of your students try to give you an April Fool's Day prank. Yes. I hope Honestly, all of your students give you an April Fool's Day prank. I was prank. kind of worried during this. I thought, they keep having secret meetings without me. And I thought there was going to be a prank that was on me during the episode. There was a prank and on I, you, but oh, it's a nice you. one. It's a nice prank, but it is we, nice, yeah. we got you. Oh, we got, we got, you. We got something so good. Yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. So you guys yeah. will have to check out um, some. I'm sure it'll be somewhere yeah, on our Teachers Off Duty yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also on my YouTube channel. So yeah. check it out at some point. You'll see. Yeah. He's so nervous. He is. I would be too. Yeah. We're going to shave his head. A lot head. of people are scared here. I'm just kidding. I, I don't mean that. I should probably get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you should too. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See, see you, you later. Killer <laughs> in your room. <laughs>